This is the routine I've got to do every morning when I get up. Always the same, there's no variation. First thing I've got to do is put my bandage on. That's the foot switch. The foot switch goes in my shoe under the heel. And then I've got to put my shoe on. Right, then I've got to put my pads on. There's a bone there, but you, you get used to which bone it is. But you press the bone, you actually make a white mark. You see the white mark, you put your pad over it to the top of the white mark. You get your second pad off. What you've got to do is put that halfway down the first one. This is the position of the pads that I use, but on, on different people it, it can vary. You then have got your control box and you've got to attach the wires to it. The box is called an ODFS. It was actually developed in Salisbury Hospital. We put that wire down there, put the box in my pocket. You've got to feed it underneath your bandage. And then you've got to attach it to the switch coming out of your shoe. Now you've got to get the other wire. It's got these two connections on. But you put the red I put the red one on, on the bottom and the black one on the top. But then you've got to lift your bandage up. And that is your FES. You turn it on. And what you've got to do, you lift your foot and see if it's actually lifting your foot. Now see the foot's come up and then it goes down. Heel strike, the foot comes up. It turns itself off and the foot goes down. And that's it. When Graham first walked with the stimulator, he couldn't quite um, believe that it was as easy as it was for him. But this is not what happens to all our patients. So it's very important to match our expectations and to treat our patients as individuals, assess them as individuals to see whether this treatment modality would actually be uh, suitable for them. ODFS works by stimulating the nerve superficially on the lower leg and it allows muscle activity to lift the foot which helps swing the leg through in walking to make walking easier. What FES is doing is replacing part of the circuitry which has gone awry in multiple sclerosis so messages from the brain telling the foot to lift up as we walk aren't getting through as a result the foot is dropping during walking and the toes will tend to catch on the floor as the patient walks putting them at risk of tripping and falling. What FES does is to replace part of that circuitry so that when the patient lifts their foot off the floor a little electrical impulse stimulates the muscles in the front of the calf uh, and that raises the foot off the ground as the, as the patient is walking through. And when I did get the response it was it was amazing it was like you know I hadn't been able to lift my foot for the past four or five years and all of a sudden it was flipping up and uh, it was like a party trick Benefits to patients in using the ODFS are to help with muscle activity, which can help with walking, but you also find that there can be improvements in sensory awareness in the leg. It can also help with reducing swelling in the leg and reducing muscle spasticity, but it all depends very much on the individual patient and what their goals for using it are as to how much benefit they get from it. If a patient is successful at assessment uh, with the use of electrical stimulation, it is important to set our goals and set them appropriately and to make them realistic and also to make sure that the patient is aware that the functional electrical stimulation is not going to be a cure for them, that it's going to treat their symptoms for as long as their underlying condition will allow us to treat those symptoms. FES has a number of benefits for our patients. Multiple sclerosis is a disease which gradually takes away patients' functions and independence for, for many patients with the disease. And what FES, somewhat unusually compared to some of the treatments we use, what FES allows us to do is actually give patients some of that independence back. It'll often improve patients' walking ability, improve their confidence in their walking, reduces the risk of them tripping, and for some patients allows them to walk further than they could before compared to many other treatments that we use which are aiming just simply to stabilise the disease to actually improve function uh, is a real boon for many of our patients. Since I had the FES, I've, I haven't fallen over. I've had the occasional trip but I've always managed to write myself. Um, it 
it has helped a lot because obviously my foot's being lifted so my, my toes aren't sort of catching on the ground as I walk. And then we, the, the boys call it the mum's electric leg. It went from mum's wonky leg to mum's electric leg so it's obviously doing something good. The FES allows me to be like a normal person. Before the FES, I wasn't a normal person. I was in a wheelchair and people, you know, you had to look up to everybody. So when I got the FES, all of a sudden I could talk to people, I could look them in the eye. It gave me loads more confidence and the future looks a lot brighter. When my daughters get married, I can walk them down the aisle. And just that in itself is just a fantastic thing to be able to do. The benefits that Graham has received from the use of FES has made him quite passionate in wanting to get this uh, treatment modality available for uh, other patients with his condition or similar conditions. And he's not the only one that feels passionate about that. We as clinicians feel passionate about what FES can do for our patients and that it should be available for their, uh, at least to an opportunity for them to uh, be assessed so that we can see whether they too could be a benefit as well as uh, Graham has. FES isn't something that's been very widely available uh, in the UK. At one time it was just one or two particular centres that you had to go to to access this treatment. Over the last few years there has been an expansion and I suspect that will continue in years to come as people become more aware of the technique and the benefits it offers, particularly for this group of patients with multiple sclerosis. Um, but yes, I'm sure far more patients could benefit from the technique if they were made aware uh, and their clinicians were aware of the uh, impact that it can have. I think for anybody that's given the opportunity to, uh, to use an FES or to try one out, I'd say go for it because um, there's no pain involved. It's a very quick procedure just to test it out and see if it suits you and it could make a hell of a difference to your life. For me, it's transformed my life, it's turned it round, it's back on track and my confidence has grown to what it used to be and I feel fantastic about that. The Odd Stop Drop Foot Stimulator is one of a range of devices designed to assist walking and other functions following stroke, multiple sclerosis, head injury, spastic paraparesis, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's disease and other conditions. To gain benefit from the Odd Stop Drop Foot Stimulator, it's essential that the person receives an assessment and follow-up from a clinician who has completed the FES training course. Our general requirement is that a person can walk a minimum distance of 10 metres. The National Clinical Functional Electrical Stimulation Centre has been dedicated to the development of FES since the 1980s. The head of the design team, Dr Paul Taylor's work, has enabled FES to be taken from the research arena into the clinical setting. Ongoing development of functional electrical stimulation continues at the National Clinical FES Centre with research to improve both the design of the stimulators and widening their clinical application. For information on how you can receive FES, please contact Oddstock Medical Limited at the National Clinical FES Centre.